In this video, we're going to talk about two special functions. So y equals 1 over x and y equals 1 over x squared. So these are both important functions in mathematics and they come up a lot. So it's important to be familiar with their graphs. So first we'll draw 1 over x. So there's the y-axis, there's the x-axis. So x, y. And this function has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So a horizontal asymptote is a horizontal dotted line that looks like this. And it has what's called a vertical asymptote. It's a vertical dotted line that looks like this. A function can never cross its vertical asymptote. Some functions can cross their horizontal asymptotes. In this case, 1 over x crosses neither of these. And the graph looks kind of like this. It gets really, really close to the asymptotes, but it never touches. OK, so that's the graph of 1 over x. And you can plug in numbers to convince yourself, but really the idea is that whenever you see 1 over x, you think of this. And 1 over x squared looks kind of similar. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. So x, y. And it's really convenient because this one also has a horizontal asymptote on the x-axis and a vertical asymptote on the y-axis. And the graph is very similar except it goes up in both directions. So it looks like a volcano. <laughs> so this is, I always think of this as the volcano function. So whenever you see the squared, you can think of it as both going up. So what we're going to be doing is um, graphing translations of these graphs. So let's maybe do a couple simple examples so you see how it works. And we're just looking for rough sketches. We don't have to be uh, perfect. So let's see, sketch, start off simple. Um, y equals 1 over x plus 2. Okay, so when you have something like this, you first have to decide which function you're using. Is it 1 over x or 1 over x squared? Well, in this case, it's going to be 1 over x because you see here the x is not squared. So we start by thinking about this graph here. So this is 1 over x, right, with our little asymptotes. It's a terrible graph. And then when you add 2 to the x, you think it's right, but no, it's backwards. It's left 2. So it's left 2. If it was this, when you subtract from the x, it's backwards. It's right 2. If it was this, if you add 2 to the entire function, it's up 2. And if it was this, if you subtract 2 from the entire function, it would be down 2. Just showing you all the different cases. So in this case, we're adding to the x, so it's left 2. OK, so then we just take this picture and we shift it to the left by 2. So when you shift it to the left, the vertical asymptote will actually shift to the left. So 1, 2. And the horizontal asymptote is an infinite horizontal line. So when you shift it to the left, it's still an infinite horizontal line. And then all you do is you draw the little curves like this and like this. And that's it. Let's do one more. So example, sketch. Let's try y equals 1 over x squared plus 3. So this time we're using the volcano function, right? And we know that because the 2 is here, so the x is being squared. And when you add 3 to the entire function, you're going to go up 3, OK? So we think about the volcano. The volcano function looks like this. And it's going up in both directions, OK? So if we graph our function over here, this one, Basically, when we go up 3, the horizontal asymptote is going to go up to 3. And the vertical asymptote is going to remain unchanged. And then we just draw the volcano like this. So we just take the entire graph and we go up 3, right? And when you go up 3, the horizontal asymptote shifts up to 3, and the vertical one stays the same. That's it.